Me and him just clicked, and I'm going to be lost without him, for sure. Guaranteed. Tonight on Big Brother, Lonely Renee loses her rock after a shock double eviction. I spent probably 80% of my time with Nathan. Two more hand grenades lobbed into the house. The person that gets this one will not be going to bed early for a long, long time. Oh. And the new task, how long can you live in a kennel? You and I are the only two boys in the competition. Oh, God. <laughs> In the Danger Zone, where you both your favourites and we reveal the five least popular housemates. In alphabetical order tonight, Alice in the zone, Ben back in trouble, Bianca becoming a regular, Dixie in danger and Travis makes a return. Use your phone to save your favourite from the zone. The house has just endured its third nail-biting eviction. The latest one a double. And no one has done it tougher than Rory, who's managed to survive being nominated for all three evictions. Oh, yes. I feel good. You're here for your birthday. I'm nuts. Yeah. I'm so happy I'm here for my You're birthday. You're here for your birthday. This year, housemates not only have to survive the eviction, they also have to dodge the hand grenades tossed at them by the departing evictees. If I get another one, should I just be like, cool? I can't believe that you would get another one. But if I do get another one, should I just like be like, oh, okay. That's it. That's what you do. Because I've realised this is what I do for everything. I cry and whinge for two days and then I get over it. So I've worked out in my head that I may as well just accept it when it first happens because... You know what that's called, Bridget? What? Growing up. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying that nasty. It's true, You just it? witness me grow up. That's true. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Nobs, who are you going to miss more, Nate or Dave? Both. Who, who are you going to miss more? Dave. You reckon? Just. Although Dave, like... Man, you... just admit it, you didn't like Dave from the start, but we knew that. Yeah, but like the last week, or a week and a bit, I've actually grown to like the guy. Renee. Big brother. How are you feeling? Well, as you know, big brother, I spent probably 80% of my time with Nathan since he got near. Um, and when you keep asking, how do I made a, a buddy thing, like a buddy system in here, he was my buddy. I didn't have one for the first week. And me and him just clicked, and I'm going to be lost without him, for sure. Guaranteed. It's been an emotional evening. I know. I can't believe I cry on this show. How stupid am I? I didn't even cry when I left my friends and family at home. I've cried twice now. Don't you want to cry? No, and especially over people that I've only just met. I don't know why I was cut. But they're like the two glue guys in here. Like, I can't believe they had to go. It's just... It's crazy. Take a seat. How are you feeling, Dixie Chick? Yeah, good. Saw a tear in your eye. Nurses, glad you're here. Thanks. Thanks, Dix. That means a lot. When I heard your name, I was like, I was thinking, don't be d save someone else. Don't be. A d Thanks. I thought Dix. you was going to. I thought you were going to. I was going to say it. I was. I thought about it. But I'm not going to lie. I thought about it enough to say, come on now, you really want to be here. You know? Yeah. But I'm very sad that Dave is gone. I know. I like Rory, but I would have preferred him to go. And Davo. I'm gutted. Oh no, I'm so scared of grenades. This is Big Brother. Housemates, direct your eyes no. to the plasma no. screen. I don't want to see him. Shiny heads first. Oh God, I'm kicking I'm going to say lovely things about Hi, housemates. Uh, I'm on the outside. It's good to see the average age of the house has dropped a bit tonight. Um, I'd love to still be in there with you, but I hope you guys are just going to suck in and value every moment you've got from here on out because it's sort of over before you know it. Renee, it's tough to find words to nail this right, but you are an incredible girl and I've never met someone like you. So. Don't feel bad about the fact that 
that I'm gone or that anyone else goes, but just value the time you got. And we'll uh, catch you when you get out. Oh! Yes, mates. As you all know by now, I'm about to deliver this week's hand grenade. Unfortunately, they're never pleasant. The person who gets this week's one will never be sleeping in again in the house. The person I give it to will be required to rise very early every morning when the cockerel crows. They must go straight to the kitchen and make Big Brother his breakfast. You may not go back to bed and must stay up all day. I throw it to Travis. Congratulations, Travis. You are Big Brother's early bird until Woo, further notice. He gets up early anyway. Thank you, Nate. Good morning. Hey, housemates. Here I am, back out in society, uh, where we have real food and alcohol. Terry, um, we've had our ups and downs. Um, it, it does feel like you're on school camp with your grandma sometimes, really there. But this week you've really chilled out, been a little bit less negative, so that's good. Um, and as the weeks go by, Terry, if you keep doing that, who knows, you could take this thing out. Look out. The grandma from Sydney. Um, Bianca, I think your strong opinions, um, it's good to have them, but you kind of don't know what you're going to get day in, day out. Um, there might be a little temper tantrum. then. Two minutes later, you'll be fine. Um, very strong morals and, and opinions, which is good, but you do have to learn to respect what um, other people do and say in their lives, as it, especially the fact that you are only 18. You're probably wondering whether a double eviction means a double hand grenade. Wonder no longer. I am the holder of tonight's <laughs> second hand grenade. The person that gets this one will not be going to bed early for a long, long time. The person I name shortly will become the big brother night watchman. The night watchman Opposite. must be the last housemate awake every night. Every night, after everyone is in bed, the night watchman must bring big brother a glass of milk and a snack to the diary room and ask big brother how his day was. The night watchman will sometimes be required to read big brother a bedtime story. The two people I considered for this grenade are Terry, uh, because you've had more chances than anyone at staying in that house and I think it's good to spread the love. And Bianca, because I think sometimes um, you are too over-opinionated and reluctant to hear what other people have to say. However, as always, there is only one grenade and mine goes to Bianca. You are a good chick, but um, you, I think you've got a lot to learn um, and I don't think you're a cow. <laughs> Coming up later in The Daily Show, the doghouse task. Housemates confined to a kennel. How long can they last? I'm doggone tired of this task. Let me out now. Who will win Big Brother 2008? As always, you decide. But this year, you vote for your favourite housemate. And each week, the three least popular are nominated and the housemates evict. To help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 5555 and then for Dixie, add 62. For Nobby, add 74. For Renee, add 63. Or text their name to 191010. Despite being friends in the house, there's simmering tensions between Ben and Nobby. Nobby thinks Ben doesn't always tell the truth when discussing housemates he likes and dislikes. Cheers. Oh. So, so what were you saying before, Nob? You, were, you, you reckon I'm a disloyal? I'm not saying you're disloyal. I'm not saying I'm, you're one of my friends. You know that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know we're close. I know that. You know that, yeah? Yeah. But then I'm just not taking this to Whether her. it goes to... When it comes down the crunch, to the crunch, it's whether I can count on you or not. And at the moment, it's leaning towards that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, you because know, because of that. I'm do yeah. Well, if, if that's how you feel, that obviously yeah. does. But yeah, I'm not suck, saying I'm not saying it's not going to change. Yeah, it's, I've only known you for a month, dude. Yeah, but it would be nice to have some trust from your friends. Obviously, you are a very observant person, and you do pick up on a lot of things, and uh, both consciously and subconsciously. 
and you know you obviously do have a pretty um, good memory and do remember what people say. That being said, what you think and what you believe or what you say is not always right. Mm -hmm. And for you to to sometimes say, no, nah, you're doing this for this reason, and I say, no, I'm doing it like this. No, I mean, you're like, no, nah, no, nah, it happens like this. Well, I, I'm, well, what I was saying was like, what I believe in what you're telling me, I'm just not buying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. It's more well, my perspective. That's up to you. But, you know, about that. we are close, and it is unfortunate yeah. that you wouldn't trust me. What? There isn't any there, Dixie. I don't care. Show me. If you're picking it, I want to see the hair that you're finding. Okay, look at me first. I will. Okay, so you got one there, there. To be honest with you, if I did annoy you or something like that, I wouldn't expect you to come up to me. I'd expect you to say it behind my back. Not really. Because I'm, you're not a very confronting person. That's but I'm me. also pretty close with you. You are. I know that. So, I'm, like you've, all, I'm, like I said before, you've always been. You've hung out with me. You've helped yeah. me out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, but I'm not saying you're a bad person. I don't like you. Yeah, yeah. I just, just telling you how I think. That's yeah. all. You know what I mean? Just yeah. On that issue. That's all. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. If you feel that way, I know how you feel. You know how I feel, and it's cool that it's um, it's all out there. But. All right. Oh, yeah. Am I really unlikable? Be honest. Do, if I thought that, you would know it by now, all right? Every time someone's been evicted, they've all had stuff to say about me, usually. So, who has so it just own? makes you think, hmm, you sit here, and right now I'm just staring into space going, wow, maybe I should rethink who I am completely yeah, as yeah, a person. Yeah. Nathan Maybe I should be completely different. Nathan didn't say Maybe I should be a Beck. I'm psycho in real life. I'm a nutcase in real life. So am I. I have the worst temper ever. I'm always angry. Me too. I'm really happy. I know, my parents I've like... I've been so in here. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, when I get angry, I usually just don't okay. hold it in. I usually like... Bah! But it's usually like my brother or something like that. Yeah, my brother usually cops it all, unfortunately. Yeah. But that's what we're brother and sister for. I cop all of his anger and he cops all of mine. I'm going to start acting Nathan more smart. Nathan didn't say anything bad about no, you. No, but don't act smart because then you get accused of being too smart um, for your age. Excuse me, Terry, may I please borrow your glasses when you're not wearing them? Yeah, well, I want to look smart. Here we go. And how are you feeling tonight, Rory? Grateful. I just can't believe how cut up I can get. Like, I didn't even cry when I left my friends and family. You've known these people three, four weeks. Mm hmm. Cutting up inside. You're freezing. I know, I just came from inside. But, um, I just got no idea. I don't know why I understand why I get upset. Why is no one else upset? Like, okay. Yeah. Wearing their hearts on their sleeves. They are upset. Yeah, but why don't they cry? Because <laughs> they were the closest to you. Maybe I'm jinxing people. It's crazy. Well, you still got one bad buddy. Hey. <laughs> I, I don't want to be someone else, but it's starting to feel like I have to be because no one likes who I am right hey, now. Hey, welcome to my world. I feel exactly the same. And I'm I can't be somebody different. It'll That's be it. fake and people That's will it. see through it. Yeah. But I feel like I have to be because no one likes me. To be a good person, you have to be honest and you yeah. have to have morals and opinions. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just to be a normal person, it's just you, something that comes along with it. Oh, I just try and be honest, it. say crap to people's faces. Yeah, I might yeah. go have my bitch, but they know how I feel at the end of the day. I have my opinions. I don't hold back and say, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right, but this is my perspective. I say, mm. no, I don't think you're right. This is why. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just going to sugarcoat. I'm going to say exactly how I feel and I'm not going to be fake whatsoever. And that, to me, is a good yeah, value. I know exactly what you're saying. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Trav, I was just... You know, Trav just asked what we were talking about. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no. Nah, um, and then I, I just explained to him that... Um, obviously, it's cool having a, a mate that is upfront and um, confrontational and honest. Um, and that, you know, it's, it's good having feedback and being kept in line. But he has to remember that sometimes his opinion is not always right and that 
Mm. Um, <clears throat> you know, we are how we are. I never said I was right. Oh, no, but I just get that impression sometimes. And, like, um, you know, you didn't believe me when I said um, I didn't that I forgot about the Dave thing, mm. but then I was automatically wrong because it was your opinion sort of thing. Well... I've been surprised that everybody who's gone out hasn't said really bad things about me. We don't hate you, Terry. <laughs> Terry I know you, know you don't. Terry, stop being an attention seeker. Oh, what? Terry. You yeah. didn't even hear what we were talking about. But you're probably going, everyone hates me. I did not say that at all. I said I was surprised that Bridget people hates. haven't said ba more bad things about me. That's all I said. They're just wasting it all on me, Terry. It's all right. Why can't you just be happy being you? Because obviously it's not good enough. Dude. Well, obviously it is. It's not who good cares? Enough. It's not good enough for a couple of people. That's all. Do you know what? I had that David. attitude until I came in this joint. Davo was my rock. Davo was the one I was like, I didn't talk to David. You didn't listen to a word I said. I told him that. Why do you care what other people that. think? Because ultimately it's other people who have to deal with you in your life. And I don't want to be a cow to everybody I meet. Like, my brother always says you're a bitch. Like, you really are a cold-hearted bitch. And I never believe him, ever. I don't think you're a cold-hearted bitch. Same with you. Are you coming to bed, B? Can't. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's all right. I'm glad it's night instead of day. It's, it's a good grenade for me. Next, after a month in the combi, Nobby wants out. It's going to be tough. And really, like, the combi joke's over. I, ne yeah. I never say I'm always right or anything but like that. But I do that. get that impression. But I'm not... How, whenever I thought I was always right... OK, maybe not always right. Maybe um, intolerant of... Uh, or not intolerant, but... Intolerance. Of yeah, intolerant of other people's explanations and opinions and um, ways of dealing with things. And like we have said, we are all different people in here. We all deal with things in different ways and, and have different personalities. You and Rory are obviously more confrontational and bigger assholes than what I am. But like, hey man, it doesn't like you know. Well, I don't see what I said was definitely the wrong word. me and you. And I right. talked to you honestly. And the fact that you're making such a big deal about it, like you have to prove it to everyone else, I don't understand. What you mean this now? Yeah, you have to go ask Rory. You have to ask him. Really, all I said was my opinion about you saying, oh, like, no, generally just... when you worry or stress so much, uh, people like that I can't trust them. I don't, not I can't trust, but when it comes to the crunch, I won't trust. And I was just being honest with you. Yeah, and everything, that was probably, and I, I oh. do appreciate what you said and your honesty and that you do, you hold me accountable for my actions. But I was just um, checking with Rory that it's cool with me and him as well. And that... It's cool with me oh, and man, you. I, I said that wrong, that um, I was seeing his, if he, if he felt in a similar way to you as well. If I feel, if I got something to say to you, man, I'll say it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't appreciate you calling me a <laughs> Just because I have a different view than you. Um, I'm not trying to get. We're not trying to gang up on you, man. You may not. Because I'm not, like we said, I'm not you're, it that way. Yeah, but don't, but don't, don't call me a <laughs> or whatever. I thought you were sweet until you called. Are you being serious? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, but yeah, like I do apologise for calling you. <laughs> what I did mean was that you know you and Nobby speak your mind and are more confrontational than what I am. Yeah. And Better way of putting it. That's all. And, um, don't worry about it, I'm going to hold a cry. You know, it hurt my feelings. Yeah, no, I'm just, just saying, just word it right. I just phrased it badly. Yeah, that's all. Dave was like, you're only in there for a short amount of time, so, you know, say what you mean and get fired up, you know. It's all just too nice. <laughs> that when you did say what you thought, he used to shoot you down all the time. And that's what, that's what Bianca was saying too. That's what him and I had words about. Because he asked me about my family. When I started to tell him about it, he didn't like what I was saying because it was negative. Now, he asked me, so if you're going to ask a person a question, listen to the answer. Yeah. He asked me, would, because I haven't seen my mother since I was 16, he said, would I go to her funeral if she died? And I didn't really want to answer the question because if I answered no, I felt he was going to think I was a horrible person. And I said, well, it's a hard answer to question to answer. Because without knowing ev all the Without story. you knowing all the reasons, ins and outs. And the main reason is, now that he's not here, I'll, I'll answer, is because all my life, even though I lived with my mother till I was 16, I felt like I didn't have a mother. I felt like I was just there to babysit the other two children that she had. You know, so, that, so it was hard to explain that to David. 
he said to me, how many brothers and sisters have you, like, do you, I've got four brothers and I only speak to one. And that's when he goes, oh, Jesus, Terry, God, what's wrong with you? You've got all these relatives, you don't, and that's when I just lost it. This is really the first time anyone's come up and said, look, Ben, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So I was just checking, I'm not, I'm not get, like trying to get people against you or, or well, against just me. Just you are being very defensive. When I was, all I was doing was no. never said anything bad about you, just how I felt in that regard. And now it seems like you have to get everyone else's opinion on it. You know what I mean? And be defensive. I'm not going to do, say that I'm I'm gonna do a Dave wrong. and explain the situation to all the housemates and, and make sure they see my side of things. It's just Rory's one of my close friends in here and I just wanted him to, uh, wanted his opinion. And, uh, yeah, see. that's fair enough, mate. So they're all sweet. It's all good. We always were. That's what I was trying to say from the start. Just the waiting. Oh wow, because you want both of us. You're so fast. Oh, oh cool. Bread. <laughs> Where's my cookies that I have to give you? Early bird. Night watchman. <laughs> G'day, big brother. This is early bird and night watchman signing in. <laughs> night watchwoman. <laughs> night watchwoman. As you will be bringing Big Brother his morning toast and his midnight snack from now on, Big Brother thought it only fair to issue you with some supplies. Beside you, you will find tea bags, a loaf of bread and some fresh milk. After I've made your cup of tea, is it possible to reuse the tea bag? Big Brother likes his tea extra strong. You should leave the tea bag in the mug. <laughs> and remember, milk and one sugar, please. <laughs> Big Brother also prefers his toast lightly buttered. The last thing Big Brother needs is middle-aged spread. <laughs> so you're middle-aged, hey? Big Brother, I don't think you've got anything to worry about with middle age spread. You're giving away your identity. Ooh. You're the only guy I can fully trust. Oi, always. Big brother. Oh, thank God you answered me. Listen, that, that eviction was probably the hardest for me and they were, they were the three people I was closest to and um, Dave and Nate both spent a lot of time with me in here and now that they're gone, it's going to be tough and really, like, the combi joke's over. I mean, sure, Rory and Ben and Travis will hang out with me but like, you know, they, they'd rather be inside. Yummy. But yeah, I reckon as time goes, I'll get lonely and bored. I think bored might be more of a, and lonely as well, I guess that I'm not involved with everyone else, but yeah. And I have spent a month in the combi with no beach blackness. They're gonna go to their bed and have their little chats there and I'm just gonna be here doing nothing. Like, what's the fun in that? <laughs> Big Brother Night Watchman. Big Brother. That's the midnight snack you have prepared. Yeah, it's really tempting to eat it, in fact. The food looks fine. Your housemates are asleep. Do you have a bedtime story to tell? Once upon a time, there was uh, a group of people 
who won the chance to live in a big castle. In this castle, there were rules, and all the kids had to play by those rules. Made some kids upset, but most kids got used to it. There were 14 kids to begin with, but every week there was a surprise. Some people would have to leave and more people would come in. This upset the kids. Um, that's pretty much all we got. <laughs> After the break, how long will the housemates last in the new task? Millsy's got a bigger doghouse than this. Travis! What? Stay on my left! Alright. To help save your favourite housemate, dial 1902 555 and then for Rory at 66, for Terry at 67, for Travis at 68, for Alice at 72, or text their name to 191010. It's an early wake-up call for Travis. Last night, David threw a hand grenade Travis's way, and he has to get up and make Big Brother tea and toast every morning. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, big brother. Big brother is trying to watch his waistline. Perhaps a little less butter tomorrow. I really enjoyed that. Oh! There's a moment of your, your home. Rory! Rory? <laughs> I wouldn't do that in the morning. <laughs> oh, sorry, kids. I have to go. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Dolly's barking. Yeah. Oh, was, does everyone have to get up? And I'm laughing my head off and saying, shut up, Terry, your voice is worse. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I like it because it reminds me of home, the dog's the barking. The dog's barking. <laughs> is the light on in there? Does everyone... <laughs> Dogs. That's the last noise I want to be up to. Love the morning air, man. <laughs> this is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge immediately. Housemates, you are all in the doghouse this week with Big Brother. For this week's task, you are about to compete in an endurance challenge. The task will require patience and persistence. You will compete against one another for a truly unique experience, one which has never been before offered as a reward on Big Brother. 
It's a once in a lifetime opportunity with effects that will reach well beyond the boundaries of this house. Housemates, when the task begins, each of you must find your doghouse and wait for Big Brother's instructions to enter. The rules of the task are simple. The housemate who remains in their doghouse for the longest time will win. When you are ready to give in, before you get out of your doghouse, shout loudly and clearly, Big Brother, I'm doggone tired of this task. I'm coming out of the doghouse. Remember, housemates, every dog has its day. Let's hope today that this is yours. I wonder if these are, like, ginormous. <laughs> Housemates don't know it, but when the last person is left in the doghouse, a guest will arrive, an 11-week-old real live puppy. The winner will have to look after it and christen it with the name of their choice. Oh, my feet are wet already. It's going to be gross. I'm jumping straight up on the stage. Housemates, take your position next to your doghouse. So only one person wins. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, f*** this. <laughs> <laughs> you can just sleep no, in yours. Just sleep in your doghouse. No, really, man. Look at that. It's dewy and cold. This <laughs> is your brother, housemates. You may now enter your doghouse. Oh, oh, yay! <laughs> See you guys! <laughs> I'm doggone tired of this task. Let me out now. Let me out now. I'm done. Millsy's got a bigger doghouse than me. Travis! What? Stay on my left. All right. And we'll go for a walk. I can't. Okay, ready? I can't see you. Duh. Stay on my left. Okay, so you're going to be on my right. Yes. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Can that you, Rivers? Trav. Yeah. Start walking towards the swing. Go left. Go left. Where are you? <laughs> Who's that? Get away from my house! Hey! Coming up, who can resist Big Brother's temptation? There are Jupiter bars and an icy cold can of Coke for any housemate who wishes to leave the doghouse. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in the Big Brother house this week. For the task, housemates are trying to outlast each other in dog kennels. They're provided with water, but if any part of their body is visible to Big Brother, they'll be disqualified. This is hilarious. <laughs> well, no, I can see you. This is Big Brother. Don't run me over. Rory, you are disqualified. Bring your dog house to the diary room. Already? Has Norfolk already given up? What happened? What are you doing? Did you disqualify? What? He said, Rory, you are disqualified. Trav, where are you? Over there by yourself. No, I'm next to you, mate. No, you're not. No, yeah, you're I not. am. Oi, I might go inside. Do you want to go inside? Are you allowed? There's noises out here. Yeah, you're allowed inside. Uh, Stay out of here, Benny. All right. We'll Wait, go inside. I just after. hit something. Stop holding me! Nobby. Get lost, you talk. Nobby, piss off. What are you talking about, Ben? I'm not doing anything. Oh, what the hell is my house hitting then? What are you talking about? I'm gone. I'm like near my van. 
Is that Rory? It's Rory. I knew Rory's it in his bin. Piss off, Rory. Rory is disqualified. He's gone into the diary room. Who's? What am I hitting? I don't know. Travis. Yeah. What's blocking my house? One second. I'll just have a pee. Wait, what happens if you need a pee or something like that? Pee in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ben. Keep coming. You're almost. You're almost at me. Bianca's almost inside. Hey. This is Big Brother. There are Jupiter bars and an icy cold can of Coke waiting in the dumbwaiter for any housemate who wishes to leave the doghouse. Oh <laughs> my god! They're Wait, two do I get these? things! Big Brother, why? Why would you do that, Big Brother? Can I have it? Because I'm out? <laughs> Yeah. Is he for real? He's bluffing. Well, Nobody get dog. one for me and put it under my doghouse. No, you can't have food or anything. Yeah. I've got a big brother's bluff. I'll have a look if it's real or not. Coke. Oh, Oh my suit. God, it is too. Coke and this is big brother. Rory, Nobby, you can help yourself. Thank you. No. <laughs> no. What do you have? Oh, mate, there's like eight cans of Coke and Jupiter caramel bars. What's the line that you have to say? You've got to say, I'm doggone tired of this doggone tart. I'm doggone tired of this doggone something else. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Who could be bust? <laughs> Dixie's oh. out. Oh, Dixie's out for Coke. How many people are out now? Three. Yeah. yeah. What happened? Dixie just left. I'm gone. It's my two favourite things in the world. Jupiter bars? Yeah. Serious? Never heard of them before. Oh, yeah, well. ah, so good, Nobby. We're going to find out. What's in them, Renee? Huh? What's in them? It's like a caramel bar with like little nut things in it. Why, big brother? Why would you tempt us? This is what I have at least twice a day. <laughs> so oh. bad for you. Hey, Ben. Yeah. You and I are the only two boys in the competition. Oh, God. Who would have thought one and a half men? <laughs> Dude, my neck is killing. After the break, the doghouse cast. Can you move this seat? Sorry? What seat? Roy, can you please just move it, man? To help save your favourite housemates are 1902 555 and then for Ben at 69, for Bianca at 64, for Bridget at 61, or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max, 190 votes from Mobile's Extra. Lines close at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, June 1st. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. Alice, 
What, Travis? I play ice play. You can't see anything, Travis. You're in a dog kennel. <laughs> it's now nearly two hours since ten housemates went into their kennels. So far, Rory has been disqualified and Nobby and Dixie have given up. This is Big Brother. Terry, you've been disqualified. Bring your dog house to the diary room. Oh, Terry, what'd you do? I don't know, you must have seen my hands. Yeah. Hey, Roz. Hey, yeah. Terry. Can you play what? Can you move this seat? Sorry? What seat? Roy, can you please just move it, man? Oh. Don't, don't lift up. Don't lift Get up, crap. All right, now you're in the shade. You're in the shade, bro. Am I it's in the wet. shade? No, you're in the sun. You're near the swing, nearly near the swing, Bridget. Move this way a bit, Bridget. This way a bit. Oh, stop it, my roof's coming off. I'll go straight ahead. Go straight. Straight. Stop it, my roof's keep pushing me. Oh, right, yeah, I'll fix your roof. Try to sake. put it in yeah. the right direction. Try to fix your roof. Go All straight right. ahead. Right, go straight ahead. Straight ahead. Keep going. Get <laughs> <f***ing>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even Aren't you glad you're Terry, out? Terry, you better sleep. We want f***ing eye open. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. You're like, <laughs> well, you're in the shade. What are you whinging you about? You put me over a vent, <laughs> Listen to it. Carry it on, would you? Yeah, I nearly oh. choked on my coke. Dun, dun. No, leave my roof. No! <laughs> oh, Nobby! Nobby! <laughs> 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 no more prawns! Oh, no more prawns, I promise. This is Big Brother. For any housemates not in the doghouse. A hot breakfast is waiting in the dumb waiter. Oh, no. I'm not eating at all today. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum! Yeah. Yep. Right. Renee! We have tomato sauce too! Oh, yes. Be strong, guys. Shut up! I'll think of you, Renee! Let me smell it! Oh, yeah. Rory! No, you can't smell it. Is it big? It's beautiful. Oh, it's huge. Is there leftover Coke and Jupiter's bar? There's so much. We'll coke. save you some Coke. Is there Coke and Jupiter bars left? <laughs> yeah, ah! but we're kind of smashing so it. So if I got out now, I could have bacon and eggs and Coke and Jupiter bar. Yep. Oh. Renee, don't do it. Shut Trav. up, Travis. Shut up, Dixie. Trav. I'm the one person to win. Travis just told me to shut up. Mm -hmm. I'm going inside. I need a better grounding. I reckon we should. Straight. Hey, Rory, am I going straight? straight? Yeah, keep going, man. What's that? Nothing, go. Is it Nobby? All right, you're straight up. Go. Straight? Yep. Okay, you got to be careful. Oh, wait, you're going to have to go the other way because there's another housemate there. Go. Yeah, straight. Smash. Oh. <laughs> go, Renee, go. Go, go. Go. Push. It's all right. You're not going to fit, man. you got to go straight and move me up. <laughs> go, Renee, smash go up. Go, I'm moving, man. I got here like half an hour ago. <laughs> I got like a bed sorted out in here. Oh, come on, Go in, hey! <laughs> Move right. around the other side. It's going to be like eight more bum scoots. Go in, hey. Don't get emotional. Well, don't get bossy. I am moving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that fully concerned me. Fine. Go in my own way, you sook. Tomorrow on Big Brother, it's out with the dog houses and in with the dog. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.